Now, as long as I've been doing this little show of mine, I've tried really hard to keep from coming back to the same old negative subjects time and time again, because I don't want to be known as that guy. And quite frankly, negativity sucks, and harping on it all the time gets, well, rather depressing. Besides that, I get labeled as a hater and as someone who plays favorites, blah, blah, blah. But when I sign on to social media and I see this... <clears throat> well, I just can't help myself, and so here I go again. Now, I've read this before here, and I'm going to read it again. Narcissistic personality disorder defined. An excessive need for admiration, disregard for others' feelings, and inability to handle any criticism and a sense of entitlement. Now, I'm going to repeat that one more time. An excessive need for admiration, disregard for others' feelings, and inability to handle any criticism, and a sense of entitlement. So now I ask you, does this not define someone who promotes stickers of one's own self in a manner that is so closely associated to this guy? I mean, I've always said here that little Jimmy Gunn has a messiah complex, but come on. Now, to be fair... Gun himself, well, he didn't begin the distribution of the gun messiah stickers. No, that would be this idiot, Nathan Fillion, the B-level actor who's playing Guy Gardner, a Green Lantern with a bad haircut. Hell, it even made the news. Well, kind of. It, it made it into comicbook.com's, you know, website, if that's news. Now, far be it for me to criticize Fillion for promoting little Jimmy Gunn as being, well, godlike by having what would James Gunn do stickers made up and plastering them all over the new Superman suit. I guess it's better than the taste one gets after licking another man's boots. You thought I was going to say something else now, didn't you? And to be honest, that doesn't bother me nearly as much as Gunn himself reposting them on his X-Feed for the entire world to see and know that those that work for him do, in fact, worship the very ground that he stomps around on. Now, I'm sure some, including Gunn himself, find it, well, kind of cute. I find it nauseating. Now, I'm guessing by now, thousands of little gun babies all over the world are searching the internet in vain, trying to find out just where they can purchase these stickers. So, well, they can stick them on the dashboard or their mom's minivans or their official Mountain Dew coolers, and given time, I'm sure they will be available for the gun masses to admire and enjoy. And I wouldn't be surprised if he begins to mass-produce them himself. But wait, there's more gun news. Recently on social media, when little Jimmy was asked, well, about the unveiling of that official corn sweat Superman suit we've yet to see, well, he had this to say. Well, I'm almost ready to show it to y'all even though we are only 18% or so through it. Yeah, it's what he said, 18%. Anyway, now hey, did you hear the big news? Iron Man is back. Yes, Robert Downey Jr., Mr. Tony Stark himself, is coming back to the MCU. Uh-huh. Don't hold your breath there, Sluggo. Now let me explain. You see, Esquire did a rather lengthy piece on him recently, and towards the very end of it, he was asked, as he always is, I'm sure, in every single interview that he does, if he would ever consider returning to the MCU, and he answered, Happily, it's too integral of a part of my DNA that role chose me. And look, never ever bet against Kevin Feige. It's a losing bet. He's the house. He will always win. Now, does this mean he is, in fact, coming back? No, it does not. Not even close. Does it mean if the money was right that he wouldn't consider it? Well, hell yeah, he would. Why wouldn't he? Wouldn't you? That role made him extremely wealthy, and Downey ain't no fool. Hell, it's been reported that just from the MCU alone, he's made somewhere near $435 million. Just because you won an Oscar doesn't mean you can't be in a comic book movie. Ben Affleck, Jeremy Irons, 
Nicolas Cage, Russell Crowe, Halle Berry, Joaquin Phoenix, Anne Hathaway, Christian Bale. They've all won Oscars some multiple times, so don't go thinking it's some kind of a career downgrade being in one. Well, good ones, anyways. It sure didn't help Jared Leto, that's for sure. Now, in order for Downey to return, there are a lot of variables to consider here. First off, well, Stark, well, he died in Endgame. Well, does that mean anything in comic book land? Well, hell no. Wolverine kicked the bucket, and they found a way to bring him back, or at least a variant version of him, back in Deadpool 3. And why? Well, let's face it. The movie will sell because people love Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, as they do Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Besides, in the comic books, they've been doing it for years. The advent of multiverses, the type of storyline I hate, by the way, makes it possible to do whatever the hell they deem profitable at the time, you know? Making money. And that's really it in a nutshell. Second, and probably most importantly, well, the dude ain't getting any younger. I guess they could digitally de-age him, and well, that's just creepy, man. Did you see Indiana Jones 5? But in the end, does his age really matter to the role? I mean, the suit does all the work. Am I not right here? So it could work. At any rate, all I'm suggesting is don't read too much into it. Downy, so it seems, is down-to-earth nice guy. A down-to-earth nice smart guy that knows a good thing when he sees it. He also knows that the role of Tony Stark saved his career, so there is a grateful factor there also. But it's also true that the MCU would never have been what it was and or is were he not in it. Now, I personally feel if he does come back, I hope it's because he simply wants to. He doesn't owe anyone anything. Well, that's it for today's show. If you'd like to comment on anything I've talked about today, please feel free to leave your comments down below. And if you would, please hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next show. As always, thanks for stopping by. God bless. Socks out.